Hi everybody, welcome to The Her Show. I'm Trina Titus Lozano, and I'm here every week with you, and I'm telling you how to make your home a place of love and peace. If you do not have our book yet, please get it. You can go to kingdomglobal.org and just order it in the store right there. And it is in three languages, English, Spanish, and Portuguese. So I hope that you take advantage of the opportunity to get this book. It is a handbook and a textbook for you to use. My mom, Debbie Titus, and I wrote this together, and it's a phenomenal tool. So it is for you. Please help yourself, treat yourself. You need this. I am on a parenting series here on Life Network for Women, and I'm teaching you every Friday morning. I'm going from A to Z. ABC is the absolute basic criteria for raising the next Christian generation. The absolute basic criteria for positive results parenting. This is what we want. We want to see the positive results. And I have gone from A through M, and today is the letter N. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. But I'll tell you about myself. I'm Trina Titus Lozano, and this is The Her Show, Home Experience Radio. And I have been married for 38 years, and I have four children. They are all grown and 11 grandchildren. So God has been gracious to me, and he has provided a wonderful opportunity to share these principles from generation to generation. And my grandmother lives with me, okay? She will be 98 in August. And so we get to do life with her and with my mom, Debbie Titus, and then we get to do life with my children who all live in this area and also my grandchildren. So think about this. My grandchildren get to hang out and learn from the wisdom of their parents, their grandparents, their great-grandparents, and their great-great grandmother. Okay, this is what we're talking about in this series. We're talking about leaving a legacy where we pass on the biblical principles from generation to generation to generation. And that's the way that it should be. Listen, if your kids turn out just like you, I hope they're great. I want you to be that great. But if your kids turn out just like you, they will be great. And then every generation, they will just keep getting greater and greater and greater. Because as we learn from each other, we want the Lord to continue to transform us and to change us. So I have chosen for the letter N. N is for naked. Okay, and you might be like, naked? Wait, we should not be naked. We need to be modest. Okay, I'm not talking about that type of nakedness, okay? Um, but I am talking about being naked and unashamed in the sense of having the veil removed, okay? Where you are not so embarrassed about your past that your children think that you're perfect. They think that you are sinless. They think that you've never had a history. They've never, that you've never had a past. I want you to share with them your testimony. I want you to be vulnerable. And that's the kind of naked that I'm talking where you're vulnerable, so the veil is removed, and I'll read the scripture here. This is 2 Corinthians. This is chapter 3, and in verse 15, it says, Yes, even today, when they read Moses' writing, their hearts were covered with that veil, and they did not understand. But whenever someone turns from the Lord, turns to the Lord, excuse me, i got to start that over. But whenever someone turns to the Lord, their veil is removed. Their veil is taken away, okay? So that's where the nakedness, the vulnerability comes. That veil is taken away. For the Lord is the Spirit. And wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. We don't have to cover up. We don't have to be ashamed. We do not have to stay in this place of, I hope no one finds out my story. I hope my kids don't find out my story. No, there is freedom. So all of us who've had that veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. You know, your testimony will reflect the glory of the Lord. And we want to reflect the glory of the Lord to our children, to our grandchildren, to our great-grandchildren, or great-great-grandchildren, if that's the case. So we want to tell our stories. We want to remove the veil, reflect the glory of the Lord, and share with our children. And the Lord, who is the Spirit, makes us more and more like Him as we are changed into His glorious image. Look, God wants you to be vulnerable. He wants you to be able to share your testimony and to be honest about it. 
Whenever we share with this vulnerability, it provides a special sort of connection. Dr. Brene Brown says vulnerability is the key to connection. And you know, that's really true. And when we open ourselves up vulnerably, whenever we, we remove that veil and we can talk to the Lord openly and honestly, we can talk to our children and grandchildren openly and honestly. It creates a bond and a very special connection. So that's why I chose this word because I don't want you guys to be ashamed or afraid to tell your kids and your grandkids your story. Your story is meaningful. Your story is impacting. Tell your story. Start today. Plan it. And you know, my mom and I like to talk about the table experience. Set the table. Plan a meal. And as you invite your family around the table, plan to tell them your story and say, tonight, tonight I'm going to tell you my story. I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly about me. I'm going to tell you the things that I regret, the things that I've done wrong in my life, and I'm going to share with you how God has forgiven me. That's what we're to do. Every time we have a meal together, this is whenever we can, uh, like Jesus did, he broke the bread and he drank the, the wine. And what he was doing is he's saying, as every time we get together, every time we eat, let's talk about the redemption of the cross. Every time we eat, let's talk about how we are forgiven of our sins because of the blood that he shed. Okay, I always serve grape juice, okay? I'm not actually drinking wine. I serve grape juice to my husband and to the children. But this is a time that you can, whatever beverage you're serving, that you can tell your family about the redemption of the cross, that you can talk about how because of his stripes, we are healed. We are healed from our broken hearts. We are healed from the pain of the past. And so we're emotionally healed. We don't want to stay wounded in our lifetime. We want to be healed. So I know that God has healed you probably time and time and time again from the pain of your past. And I want you to share this story with your children and grandchildren. Thank you so much for being with me today. And is for naked. That's right. Remove the veil, be vulnerable, and share your story with your family. God bless you today. Thank you for joining me. Hugs and high fives. Bye-bye. Thank you.